Welcome. Uh, what I want to do is show you how to um, solve for our variable. Solve for our variable when we're provided parallel lines and a transversal. So the parallel lines, which I did not write in, are going to be right here. So we know these lines are parallel. Therefore, we have angle relationships. We see parallel lines and a transversal angle relationships exist. Corresponding, alternate interior, alternate exterior, same side interior. Got to know them all. So there's our special angle relationships. Now we need to determine, well, what type of angle relationships are these? Well, I look at here and I say, all right, both of these are not exterior. Both of them are not interior. So the only other one is one interior, one exterior, which is not in any of the names of the angles, but is, in the but is what corresponding angles are. So I am going to make sure I label this. So these are corresponding angles. Now, how do corresponding angles relate to each other when the two lines are parallel? Corresponding angles are equal to each other, or equal in measure. So therefore, if this angle is 9x plus 7, that has to be equal to 21 minus 3x. So now I need to solve for x, so I'm going to set them equal to each other using an equation. Okay. Now all I simply need to do is use inverse operations to go ahead and solve. So I will add 3x, and I will add, let's just do it one at a time. So therefore, I have 12x minus 7 equals 21. Now again, I want to solve for x, so I'm going to add the 7 to the other side. So I have 12x equals 28. Divide by 12, divide by 12. x equals, now 12 does not divide um, evenly into 28. However, I can simplify that um, by saying the largest number would be 4, which would be 7 thirds. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve an equation using corresponding angles with parallel lines. Thanks.